sorry, here I go, that's better. It flows better because it's on the watercolor paper. And see how I'm going like curved strokes so I can get the middle light because that is where the light is. I could go in with some white afterwards, but I'm just going very, very lightly so you get the different values. So this little guy, no two pumpkins are alike in color or shape. So let's get some more yellow. Actually, it's lemon there. I'm going to wet the middle. Okay, wet the middle. Oh, see, it's picking up. It's actually picking up. Let me just do this. See what happens. Yep, perfect. So, a real light touch, and you can blend things out nice and nice. All right, lovely, lovely, lovely. I'm wondering if this should be just a little bit darker. See what happens? This is called picking and being undecided. Wet it. And let's see. Perfect. I hope you can see how I'm doing this at an angle so that the paint is going in the direction of how the pumpkin grows. And I cleaned out my brush, patting it on, he can't see it, patting it on some paper towel. And I'm just going to take the brush that's dry now and it'll suck up all that wetness that I had in there. All right, let's go back to this one. It's still wet. I'm just going to um, float some more of the olive in there. So I just come down with the corner of my brush, work it out on the palette, and I have a nice guideline in there. There, perfect. Now another place I'm going to go is down the sides. Okay. Get some more on that. Oops. I always like to rinse it out first before I load up again. And load it up. Work it out. I'm going to come over the same spot. There you go. Look at that. Beautiful. So now I can hold this without having to put like my finger on it or my fingernail on it. And I can just hold it in place and go there and there again. So, you know, you build things up. You can take them down a little bit with some water. Build it up. It looks good. It looks really good. So now I'm going to do that same color and it's actually the olive with a little bit of the cheddar. So I'll make a little puddle of cheddar and a little puddle of olive. That is, um, that's been on there a while so it's kind of dried out. So, you know, it's, that's a lot of wasted paint. Oh my word. So, it's best to work with um, little, little spurts of paint. So, I see my, um, my curve lines there. So, I'm going to load up with the wet brush, come into some cheddar and some olive, and work it out. And now I'm going to put my the edge of my paintbrush on the outside of that line. There you go. And there you go. 
so I think that one's done. I can soften up that line a little bit by adding some water there. Now let's go on to the big one. We're going to do the same thing. This time I think I'll use a bigger brush. I'm going to wet this side over here. And then, is this too big? Maybe I'll use this one. Into the cheddar, into the olive, blend it out. And perfect. And I just put my fingers, and see, it made two holes. All right, I was able to get that out by adding a little water. And here we go again with the cheddar and the olive, blend it out. And <laughs> this is kind of big. Maybe I'll just hold it over here. And go along that guideline. Perfect. And I can vaguely, vaguely see my lines, but I do see them, the ones that are in the middle of the pumpkin. I think this time I can hold it like this. And here's the line. I'm sure you can't see it, but I can. There, do the other side. And I just realized I'm working on, it's not dry, but it's damp. Here it is, right there. And up I come. Don't, just do it. Don't do things in a, a smooth stroke. Sometimes you want choppy, sometimes you don't. There. That looks great. Okay, looks like a plan. Looks good. All right, let's see what is next.